Hello, John here again, and welcome to episode 35, I do believe. Is it 35? I can't remember. Yep, yeah, 35. And <clears throat> I do believe this is my 200th video. Hmm, yeah. 200 videos. Anyway, back to the matter in hand. Right, I've been well known for not being able to make sounds. Not on the computer anyway. So in this episode, we're going to try. And the reason why we're going to try is because I've got a beat test of um, CBM Prod Studio. Now, by the time this video comes out, it may have been released. So don't blame me that I'm a few few episodes in front. And what we're going to do is we're going to try and add some sound to the game and do the Lost in Space test. And the Lost in Space test means you've you've flown right off the screen and never to be seen again. And we'll call that that you've you you know you escaped a lunar orbit or Neptune orbit and ended up floating in space because you ran out of fuel. Right, so. The way, way we're going to do this is the beta version of CBM Prod Studio. So this is uh, th uh, 3.14 beta. Is that it's got this SID tool. And this SID tool allows you to make um, sounds. SID sounds using all the, all the whiz-bang magic that SID, the SID chip has. And I say whiz bang magic because it's just a black art to me. So what we're going to do is we're going to try and make a thrust noise. And to do that, we're going to have to set the um, SID chip up to be able to do the sort of thing we want to do. So I know for a fact that we need white noise. So we're going to set the chip. In the, it's got three channels, so we're going to set the first channel to be white noise. And, um, yeah. What do I do now? Hey? And that was the phone. Maybe somebody knows I'm recording. <laughs> so. <clears throat> Now, as far as I know, this is this ADSR tack delay, blah, blah, blah. So a tack means how fast it gets to the maximum volume. Decay means when how that it, it, it falls back a little bit. Sustain means how far the decay falls back to uh, how long. And release is how, how far does it go to zero, I think. So what we're going to do, we're going to try and see if we can get this working, yeah? So, I have no idea what I'm doing. So let's see now. Keyboard, right? Okay, keyboard. So we'll put that somewhere so we can see it. Now, wow. I have no idea. So that's octave three. We that's on five. Oh, here we go. Oh, these numbers are changing. All right, you can use your keyboard to press on the keyboard. Right, so. Okay, let's make this 15. What does that do? Oh, where's the keyboard gone? How many keyboards have I got open? I think it's still there. Mm. There it is. Uh, let's just move it down a little bit so I can see it. That's it. All oh, right. 
Okay. Right, let's make these all zero. Right, what does it do now? Can you hear that click? Right, so that means it's just a quick. So we need to have some attack on this. So we don't want a big attack, so let's put four. There you go. But we need some delay on it. Let's do four again. Now it's got that. So we go up with four and we come down with four to nothing. So let's add some sustain to this. So let's see what we let's say let's say ten. We want it to be a long time. Oh that stays on when I keep pressing it, not like the other way where Cool. And then this is where it drops down to uh, nothing. So we'll put six, that's halfway. So when I let go, you can see it, it'll be better if I'd make it bigger. So let's make it 14. All right, so here we go. Press, let go. And it slowly fades away. Still going, still going, it's still going. Right, so we don't want it to last that long, so let's try six again. That sounds like thrusters, doesn't it? That definitely sounds like a side thruster, doesn't it? I think that's about right. Oh, cool. Right, let's write that down. So this is a side thruster. Thruster. So basically, oop. Oh no, 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 it's too high. That's the one we want there, that one. Right, so we are. So attack is four. Decay. Is four sustain is ten and release is six. All right, so we have we have the noise generator on uh, pulse. Okay, pulse is eight and one twenty eight. I have no idea what that means. <laughs> no idea what that means. And frequency, I presume that's what the bit on the end is. So high is 33, low is 135. So I presume that means it's decimal. So, right, so if that's the side thruster, we need a we need a deeper, 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 deeper noise for um thrusters. Uh, for the main thruster, so let's. Ooh. Oh, that sounds more like a thruster, doesn't it? Okay, we'll go with that one. That sounds more like a thruster. So we'll cross out that frequency and we'll put in 00897 for the side thruster. Right, so we need it deeper than that. Let's go one. Oh, that's a bit too low. Ah. That's more like a thruster noise. And then the side th side thrusters would be. Oh, maybe 
maybe the three is too low. Yeah, three is too low. Let's go with that 16, 195. And so the thruster, we went two, didn't we? Or was it one? No, that's too low. That's the one. So the main thruster is exactly the same as that, but it's 04 and 48. So that's the frequency. Now, we need a, we need a, we need a, an explosion one, don't we? We need an explosion one. Hmm. Explosion now. Um, maybe the, maybe the, um, explosion but we need to up the release don't we let's do that so oh there we go yes got it right explosion So attack, attack is four, decay is four, sustain is 10 and release is nine. Uh, noise, pulse is eight and one to eight and frequency is Hmm, two and one, six, three. Right. And this tool allows you to do that. So if we turn noise off, put saw on. Come on. <laughs> That's a boing. Really? That's a boing. Oh, that's better. Okay. <laughs> right, let's try triangle. Come on. <laughs> so what's that sound like? It's like oboes, that one is. It's three. All right, let's try pulse. So there are all the different noises you can make out of this. So this 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 editor allows you to make one noise at a time. And 
which is not bad if you want to do simple sound effects. Let's see. Oh, I ain't got anything set up for two. Let's do the same. Four. Four. Ten. Six. Excuse me. Well, that's a different noise. <laughs> anyway. Right. So with that, we've got all the things. So now we need to put them in the code. And oh, I've done it again. And so let's let's add it into here. So this is my I've copied the the file over. So I'll do add. Um, there we go. Lib sounds. So we'll leave that as it is, and we'll go to here, and we're going to include it in our. in our file. Right, so the way this works is it's got loads of constants. So each of the attack has its own. So these are all different times. So attack means two milliseconds to get there, eight milliseconds, 16, blah, blah, up to 800 milliseconds. And it goes one second, three second, five second, eight second. And this is 15 different combinations or 16 different combinations. Same with the decay decay for six milliseconds blah 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 and it goes up to 20 so it decays 24 seconds it takes 24 seconds to decay that's a long time then we've got the sustain which is where it drops down to which volume level so so it sustains there and then we um have the release which is how long it takes for it to release and we had what was it 12 13 Oh, no, it was 15, well, it took ages. So it's 14. And then we have all the different commands for this, this his stuff. And command wave is setting the, the wave, then setting the attack delay, the, the frequencies, the pulse, how long you want the sound on for, and then just kill it. So we need to create some new sounds. So as you can see, these have got some of... Uh, uh, Derek sounds. He's got his explosion sound in here. So we we have four and four. So what's four and four for attack and decay? So attack four was thirty eight, and decay four was one hundred and fourteen. Thirty eight. Oh, one hundred and fourteen. Oh, okay. So what did he have for sustain? We had 10, he's got 10, and release was 9, so what's 9? Nine? 9 is 7, oh right, 750 milliseconds, so we're going to do that as well. So he didn't, yeah, 2.4 seconds, so we're going to do that. And then pulse, pulse, not setting pulse, and then frequency was 2. So high was two and low was one, six, three. Right. So what the way, the, what, how this works now is there are some routines that we have to include like initialize the sound library. So let's go into the game flow. Because we'll need to in JSR there in this initialization routine JSR that and like the sprites oh, let's get rid of that we don't need that don't need that oh. let's get some more space up here There we go. Right. So we don't need, so 
Okay, Lando, we don't need the sprites. We'll get rid of the sprite. Oops. So, there we go. And so he's got an update as well. So it's like the sprites, and you have to perform the update. Now, we perform the update in the main loop. Like, there we go, sprite update. So we'll do the same thing, JSR sound update. And then he's got some macros. And here we go, this is the play sound macro. And what you do is you play the sound of the, the type structure, the sound structure that is, that is set up. Oh dear, excuse me. Oh, gotta stay awake. Um, and he's got the sound structure. <laughs> Sid Jim pours me to tears. <laughs> <laughs> That's just what popped into my memory. <laughs> oh dear. Anyway, so he's got a, a command, a, a, a sort of data structure for the sounds, and it looks like that's one sound. And if this is his fire routine, and then it goes into another sound. So it goes this sound for five cycles, and then this sound for five cycles. Now with his explosion, he's only got the one. But for 20 cycles, uh, sound pickup. So it does these two for five, and oh, he's got one here. Sound ending where it does. He puts a pulse in. Puts a pulse in. Tack. Does the pulse start and then the end, then delays for one cycle and then does a a sound. Oh, okay, whatever that is. So we've just done that here and what we have to do is then we have to insert this macro where we want it. Now we want to, we don't want to insert this macro in because I think we're going to be using it more than once. So what we're going to do is we're going to create a routine and I think we should plonk that in the game lander because that's where all the other stuff is. So game lander. Uh, Sound explosion. Oh dear, all over the place. So this is lib, lib, lib. And so it's uh, voice command buffer high low, okay. So we're going to say voice one, and then the sound is uh, this high low. Was it high low or low high? High low, high low. Okay, so it's that, and then that, and the RTS. Right. So this needs to. But this needs to happen when we die. So if we're going to game flow. So we need to put it in when where we die. So here's um, initialize and uh, thing instructions in flight collision die. So this is where we need to put it. So we need to tell it to play the death music. So that was that. So comes in here does that so that should work that should work okay let's try it oh oh we broke it saying it can't find okay let's try that oh I don't know how that S disappeared here we go Oh, 
Ooh. Oh. Okay. F5. Let's see why it's not working. <laughs> full screen right okay two three four so we're all right four C four D four E five oh no 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 we're all right we start at 550 don't we? so we're all right oh right okay oh that's significant. That is def. Oh dear. 200 bytes too many. Okay. Right, we need to extend the screens. No. Nope. Right, so. Uh, let's put it at 6. Oh. Right, let's try that now. Okay, here we go. Right, turn the music off, so. Right, fire. Easy. Okay. No noise. Got sound on, so we've got no noise. So we, oh. <laughs> I've forgotten it was the explosion. Let's try that again. Go on, explosion. Oh, that's not too bad. <laughs> I like that. Right, let's do the thrust. So we need to, in here, then we need to create two more of these data structures. Well, we've got the numbers, so let's do it. Oh, let's do this property. Let's copy that. Put it down here. So this one can be called, um, so, yeah, side thrust. And it's exactly, I think it's exactly the same. Hang on, 10, 4, 4, 10, 6. Oh, it's the release that's different. Release is 6. Release is 6. So 6 is that one. Okay. So release is that. Everything else is the same. 4, 4, 10. And then it was 6. And the side thruster side thruster was um, 16 and 195 195 okay and you can put that in there that in there that, that. Right, so we'll do the same as what we've done before, but we'll cut, we'll create another one called, so we'll copy that, copy that. Where is it? There it is. And we'll call this sound side thrust. Yeah, side thrust. Keep it simple. So we are looking for that. That goes there, goes there, low. Right, so we then need to put that in where we detect for the thrust, which is here. Oh, right, bang on the nail. So, do the maths, and JSR the th thing. Thrust right, so that's the other one.
Right, F5. Oh, we're all right. Do do do. Easy. Right, so this we should have side. Oh, that's too long. Too long. Right, that's too long. We need to shorten that. Um, so that's twenty uh, five. Needs to be a lot shorter. Let's try that. So remember that number is how many cycles it goes through. So that would have been twenty si program cycles, twenty pro game loops before it would have uh, then processed the decay. So hopefully this is a lot quicker. I think we can get away with that. Yeah, I think we can get away with that. Okay, let's do the main thruster now. So, exactly the same thing again. So, I might as well copy that. Sound main thruster so that was uh, so that was 4 and 48 4 and 48 that was the only difference everything else was the same okay Create another routine down here. Copy this one. Sound main thruster. So this would have been main main. Right, so we need this on the fire button, which is here. God, look at that, straight to it. Right then, let's try this out. And so now we should have all the thrusters going. So we should have all the sound effects. We should have something here that goes da 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 sound effects for that leveling. Oh, boom. I think we've done well. <laughs> I think we've done well. Ooh. 
Boom. Ah. Cool. We've added some sound effects. Right. So the last thing I wanted to do was... Um, oh, how, oh, 40 minutes. Crikey. The last thing I wanted to do was we need to um, check that we've gone off the, gone off the screen. You know, because if we go off the if we've gone off the screen, that's it. It can't it can't um, can't just carry on going up off the screen. So we need to basically say um, that enough's enough. Now, I have got um, the beta version open at the moment. And in this um, screen designer, so let me create a new file. I am again going it, into it. So Derek's created this thing called a digitizer. And then you can use a sprite from out the sprites file. Well, apparently there's no sprites in there. We'll, we'll do that. Oh, there is. There it is. So, uh, yeah, there they are. And what you can do is you can work out where the sprite is. Well, you could do. Where's the digitizer gone? Where's the digitizer going? Oh, it's there. There we are. Can you see the preview markers? You can work out. So that's 50. So you can work out where it goes up there. Now we know that the sprite's 24 deep. Yeah. So what we need to do. So look. So it's 50 down and 24 to the right, but we're looking at this. So we can test that if we got, because the sprite is, um, like I say, 24 deep, I think. Hang on, let's work it out. So it's three, three bytes of eight. Yeah, it's 24 deep. So it's three characters, yeah? Now, the Y, the y position of the um, sprite is, at 50 right at the very top there so if we say that we can test from 20 which means the sprites well and truly off the screen anything less than 20 and we can say that that's it we've we've lost in space you know we've gone off the field and we're lost forever floating in the dark blackness of space so that's what we need to do so what we need to do here is Close that down. No. Delete it off there. Yes, because I don't want it in there. Let's move that. So in the game flow, we've got all these routines that say, have we collided and all that. And we've got one that's, have we landed? So what I think we need now is we need another routine that says, have we collided with the scene? No, we haven't. Um, here so have we collided with the scene no because it's branch if not equal then sprite has collided so this is there so it's here this is where we need to put it because it says no crash now that's not true we need to be able to test for the <coughs> top of the screen so what we need to do is we need to create another a routine where we can test the top of the screen. Right. Yeah. Yeah, I think we can do that. And we can nick the code from here. I've just spotted it. We can nick the code from here. So we'll nick that and we'll put it here. So branch if not equal 
two sprites collided and this is testing for lost in space. So what we're saying now is the lander zero? Well, uh, no it isn't. Oh, it's not X is it's Y. We're just testing Y aren't we? Yeah, so that's this bit down here we're doing. That's the only bit we need. There we go. So we're testing Y and if his Y, uh, what did we say? 20. So if it's greater than or equal to, then flight is good. So they're going flight is good. Jeff, flight state is okay. That's here. So that's fine. Yeah, flight is good. Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. And if, if, um, if I'm just thinking, just thinking, um, we're not exploding him. We wouldn't see it, we're just saying he's lost in space. So, does that mean we need another, another status? I think it does. Right, let's put again another status. So, GF lost in space. 12. So in the game flow we need a new status so let's copy that and we're saying the flight is good oh no it's not there is it it's up here here we go this is it but if it's not LDA hash lost in space store that into a b -b 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 game status oh what is going on and then go back and then that would on the next loop would go through the game status so lost in space we need a new thing a new routine Which is basically near like this. Yeah. Okay. So, game flow lost in space. So, let's put another. Game flow lost in space. So we need a screen, we need screen. Okay, so we need a screen. Oh, it's in memory, isn't it? Game memory. Ugh, keep forgetting where all the stuff is now. Here we go. So, copy that. TXT lost in in space. So we'll go down five and we'll go we'll figure how right we go and we'll go um, that's that's it yeah danger 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 we are lost 
in space. Now, they are lost in space. Oh, and I'm putting capitals in again. Danger, danger. They are lost in space. So how many is that? So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 30, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 9, 39. So that means we are 21 left. Half of 21 is 10. So we'll print that out. Put that there. We will half inch this. So this is what we want. So put that there, put that there. Lost in space and should we have a delay? Should we put a delay in there? Let's do that. Let's put a two delay in there. And then we'll go um, LDA hash game dead I think it's GF dead so when we're dying yeah that's what we do so when the animations finished we set it to GF dead but we're not going to have any animation we're just gonna load the screen up GF dead and then return right then let's see if this does it so we're going to go straight off the screen oh you're joking invalid branch is too big flight too good oh would you believe it it's a 99 number where is it in game flow yeah Flight is good, gay. So, gain flow. It's just going too far now. I wonder if it's this one here. No, that's me. And that's only going to here. Oh, it's all this lot in between. Okay. This is me. So, branch if carry clear to at um, lost in space, and then we'll jump to that. And that can be taken off there. Put on there. So here we'd have uh, lost in space. Right, see if that does it. Right, remember we're going up. I just need something there. Right, so we're alright. Let's go. Ooh, kaboom.
Hmm. Bet you haven't guessed. Got to put it in here. Danger, they're lost in space. Really? Is it that? Did I miscount? Must have done. I must have miscount. Okay. Let's go back. Memory. Okay, so what we'll do is we'll do this then. Um, danger, danger. Return. I think that's the code. Return. Hang on. Yeah, it's return. Okay. So. So here, it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. From 40 is 35. Half of 35 is 14. No, it's not. It's 12. No, it's not. 35, 15, 17. And then here, this one, will go right times 17. So... Oops, I need to type that in. So it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 30, 40, 50, 60, 17, 8, 9, 20, 1, 2, 3, 4, 24. 40 minus 24 is 16. 8. And one thing I did forget, we're making the whole thing yellow. Right. Try again easy And away we go. That's still over. Second, second sentence is fine. Right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirty, forty, fifteen. Forty minus fifteen is twenty five. What a wally. Twelve. How did I get that wrong? Too tired. Here we go. Let's do this again one more time. some bleeps oh, 
And away we go. That's better. Like it. Like it. Right. Right, let's put the music on. What happens when we put the music on? Right, so. Here we go. near it so I don't think I think the SID play was overriding our our sounds and all right so that needs to be looked at oh right I think that's it so we've got sounds and we need some bips and bits and bips and bops on it uh, I've got some ideas for some things, but we need. Um, but that the 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 Derek, the Derek Morris way only works within the game cycling system. So there's some places where the game cycling system um, uh, doesn't affect. So we might have to manually set it and do it that way. So yeah, and yeah. I'll figure it out. You know, the SID chips are black art for me. <laughs> Alright then. Right then, if you like what I did, hit that like button. If you didn't like what I did, then fine, hit the dislike button. Always leave me a comment as I try and answer them all. And if you would like to support me in any way, shape or form, consider becoming a patron of mine. All the money raised in Patreon comes back to this channel. And with that, I will say, see you in the next episode. Take care. Bye. I'd like to thank all the Patreons that are contributing to my channel. Without you guys, I wouldn't be able to do what I'm doing right now. Thank you very much.